freedom to choose the jobs you want when you want. This video is sponsored by Avail Logistics. With the driver demand at an all time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Please be empty, please be empty, please be empty, please be empty. I think it's empty. I think it's empty. Yes. Morning, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. We are just arriving at Tetbury. 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 We are ugh, to be loaded for N11 North London. I believe N11. I've done I've done an N11 before. I had a quick Google last night at home, and there's a garden centre there called Sunshine Garden Centres. Been there a few times. Nice naughty little right hand turn to get in. Quite tight. Car park. Cars. London. Um, <laughs> it's not too bad of a place. Got to normally call them up before you actually get there, just so they can uh, cordon off a section of the uh, of the car park. But I think that's where we're going. We'll find out. Uh, we're the only one here. Happy days. Happy days. Let's go grab our paperwork. Let's go uh, let's drive up to this area. But yes, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. No one is in yet. The gates are shut. So we are well and truly the first in line. The place is shut. They're not open at the moment, but typically you get drivers come here early, such as I have. Sometimes people even stay here overnight, uh, ready for the next morning. Um, but yeah, no, happy days. While we're here, I've already got the destination for Sunshine Garden Centres in the sat nav ready to go because I suspect it is. I might even be wrong, but I got a feeling it is. We will find out. We will find out towards Tottenham. Sweet! Right, let's go grab the paperwork. Ugh, have a good old stretch. Ugh. Only been driving for 30 minutes, but. Need a stretch. Anyway, there's our humble abode for uh, anyone who's new to the channel, potentially. That's what we drive. We drive. We work for Harry and Sons. Uh, typically, recently, we've been driving a flatbed uh, more than anything else, so, which is good. I prefer flatbed work. And uh, I'm also pretty sure if we're going to Sunshine Garden Centres, pretty sure it'll all be pallets, which is also good. Means less effort. If it's all bags, like bolt bags, then. Uh, Got to get the net out and climb up on the trailer and net it all up and all that sort of stuff. So, anyway, let's go get the paperwork. Right, it'll be, uh, be one of these 10274. Look at that 10274 Sunshine Garden Center 22 pallets. <laughs> Come on, man, you've got to be good at your job if, uh, you only get told N11 and you successfully guess not only where it's going exactly, but also what you can have on board. <laughs> yeah, boy. So now it's just a waiting game. Uh, we've got paperwork. We've got our destination, the sat-nav ready to go. We're probably gonna jump in the truck now and have a break while we're waiting. It's 10 to seven in the morning. Don't know what time they'll turn up. Could be seven, could be half seven, could be quarter to eight. We'll see, but I'll uh, put the windows down. Maybe have a lay down on the bed. Listen to the piece. Yeah. Very peaceful. It's a hard life being a lorry driver. Hard life. Well, yeah, we just, just lay down here. We'll see people come down the lane. Seven fifty-five. I think we're about to be called in now. I think <laughs> eight o'clock nearly, and we're still waiting. <sighs> right, we are loaded. Good to go. That's what we got on board. Twenty-two pallets. 
So we're going to jump in the truck now and uh, crack on to North London. Right, we're in the truck. Hope is off. I'll take my jumper off. Let's take my hoodie off. It's getting warm. Lovely jubbly. Woo, I need a haircut. Let's put my microphone on. Should be able to hear me a bit louder now. Yeah, I think I'll go get a haircut Saturday. I think. Right, anyway, we're loaded. Let's crack on. Currently today is five past 11, which is what I said earlier, around about 11 o'clock tonight. So, yes. So we're there for an hour, we'll be there for 12-ish by the time we leave. I don't know what I'm doing afterwards, which is totally normal. But from there, I would imagine something like Tilbury Docks, I would have thought. That's uh, normally what we do, something around that area. Oh, I saw, <laughs> I saw a comment the other day. It was, it was referencing me. I said something about typical cyclists. And... I, Admittedly, not all cyclists are bad, like most are pretty decent in most areas, but my comment was um, strictly London-based cyclists, which is where I was at the time, which is where the incident happened, which is why I said typical cyclists. My, I meant in London, because I don't care what anyone says, cyclists in London are a nuisance. I don't care who you are, they're, they're a nuisance, end of story. But, <laughs> but someone, because I said typical cyclist, someone said typical lorry driver with tattoos, and I'm like, well, actually, every single one of my tattoos I got before I was a lorry driver. <laughs> I've not actually got any new tattoos since becoming a truck driver. They're, they're all... I've been driving trucks now for like six years, I think, something like that. Each one of these tattoos are way more than six years old. <laughs> I got my first one when I was, like, 18. I'm, I'm nearly 32. That's a car coming. I'm nearly 32. My last tattoo was... Um, the barcode. Yeah, my barcode, that one. That was the last tattoo I got. And I got that for my daughter's birthday when she was born. And she was born in 2012. So that's 10 years ago. <laughs> so my last tattoo I got was over 10 years ago. And it's just, anyway, it just made me laugh because it was like typical lorry driver of tattoos. It's it nothing to do with being a lorry driver having tattoos. It's, everyone's got tattoos. Well, not everyone, but a lot of people in a lot of professions have tattoos. <laughs> It was a stupid comment. I don't know who you were, but you, you were stupid. <laughs> anyway, we're um, going to crack on, I think. I'll probably see you when we're a little bit closer. Uh, and then get tipped, go to the next place, wherever that be, probably Tilbury Docks. And then uh, deliver that, I expect, or, or head there at least, depending on where it's going. It might be tomorrow. Will I be home tonight? Again, I don't know. That's just part of the job. You don't know if you're home. My boss don't know if I'm home. You saw it. You could say, I could mess with my boss now and be like, am I home tonight? Which I have in the past, because um, it's handy to know sometimes. But the reply is, I don't know. <laughs> Depend depends what the uh, what the loads later are, which is fair enough. Which is totally fair enough. It'd be nice to have been off work completely today, because I'm actually selling my car today. Um, by the time this video goes out, it will have been sold well and truly sold and gone i hope anyway they're coming to pick it up today negotiated a price a very very low well below well below value offer of sixteen thousand. It, it yeah it's worth more than that but it's all i got i just come to the decision i was like oh, i'd rather it was gone we're going away to disneyland we've got all this stuff coming up this month as I mentioned in my last video, we've got a very busy July. We've got no weekends free. And this is pretty much the, the only week slash weekend that I got spare. So I thought, I, just, I need it gone. Get it gone. So some, some company offered 16 grand. So I was like, yeah, go on then, whatever. So I do that. Pay off the finance on it because I do owe a bit on the finance. And it'll leave me with a, a few grand left over. Um, and that's essentially going to be spending money at Disneyland, I think. I think that's the plan or save it for a house because uh, that's the other thing we were, we were hoping to have a house by now 
but um, I don't know if I mentioned this I don't even know if anyone's interested in knowing about it but essentially because two thirds of our income because I got two two jobs technically this job driving and then the YouTube which is as I've mentioned before earns me like a second wage and my wife is self-employed so because my YouTube is self-employed and sh- she's self-employed that means two thirds of our household income is self-employed income and because of the whole Covid scenario um, banks are lending less to self-employed and it works out that on average depending on who we speak to we are losing uh, a borrowed amount of about a hundred thousand pound so we were hoping to borrow 400k but we can only borrow 300k and uh, i mean there's plenty of money in some places don't get me wrong but we i don't want to move again i want to i want our forever for our forever home do you know what i mean for forever forever home that's it so it needs to be perfect it needs to be what we want all room to extend like we want four beds at least i've got a disabled brother I've, you guys have like long time viewers probably know this he lives he's 28 he's five years younger than me so yeah it must be 27 28 um but he still lives with my mum and dad well, obviously my mum and dad ain't gonna live forever and obviously my dad had a heart attack scare not too long ago so it's like in another 20 years or so we probably gonna have to look after my brother so i need space for him <laughs> do you know what i mean like his own area his own room kitchen living room that sort of stuff so it needs to be a big house or room to build an annex or something anyway i'm i'm boring you i'm boring you you're here for the truck vlogs you're not here for my personal life long story short we are still saving for a house and the sale of my car is going to go towards that pretty much that's that's the long and short <laughs> rambling on today and i proper rambling anyway let's uh let's crack on let's get on to uh to london i'll see you when we're there right we are in london or part of london at least we are about a mile away mile and a half i'd say but this is london so it's a good 10 minutes <laughs> good 10 minutes away from uh, from our destination uh, I have made a phone call, so they are aware that we're on our way. I said we'd be there just after 11 o'clock, because that was what my ETA was at the time. Current ETA is just after quarter past 11, so it's not far off. But obviously, got caught in a bit of traffic on the way, which is as to be expected. There's always traffic in London. We're turning right here, so that's why we're in the right-hand side lane going into the ultra low emission zone okay green light for us this is what annoys me when the light turns green everyone should go <laughs> instead there's this human reaction chain action chain reaction of um reaction times and now i've got to stop at red lights but if we all just went might have been able to make it do you know what i mean that's what annoys me the most when everything is fully autonomous like vehicle wise <laughs> and like a computer drives us all as soon as the lights turn green we're just going to move along like trains that'd be good they be the days Ooh! nearly had a crash nearly had a crash there it's really weird it's, it's, it's ever so slightly raining spitting but also it's 18 and a half degrees and the sun is quite warm on my arm so it's almost like warm rain. Let's go. Why? I thought that moped was going to go then. It's like, no, mate. Bike on my right hand side. Obviously going to overtake up this hill. Yeah, boy. 18 turn weight limit. Uh, Monday to Friday, midnight to 7 a.m. and then 9 p.m. So basically between 7 a.m. and 9 p.m trucks are allowed up here presumably because residential there's houses there they don't want trucks clattering around after 9 p.m or before 7 a.m in the morning fair enough fair enough so uh i have been in contact with my boss as well to see what we're doing from here and uh, the answer is we don't know yet <laughs> 
currently there's four of us, all in the same location, or around about the same location. Uh, and it's very much a case of whoever gets tipped first will be then going on to the next job. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, we'll probably be, I mean, it's quarter past 11 by the time we park up. So we'll probably be here until quarter to 12, I would say, maybe 12. And then, uh, and then we go from there. Right, we're gonna turn right here. Is this a right where I need two lanes? Nah, I should be right in just the one lane. Bloody traffic lights. Come on, budge over, it's wide enough for two vehicles here. You don't need to stop, there's enough room. Lovely jubbly. And then our destination is just on the right where that Royal Mail van's coming out down there. Destination on your right. We start, we start indicating nice and early. It's a bit of a naughty right hand turn to get in. Especially when you've got cars parked here on the left. going to flash now. It's a very naughty turn. This is also why I called in advance because they block off these parking spaces look, which we need to, to get in. There we go. All good? Very good. Lovely. Oh. Yeah, it's all good. Just left it in gear. <laughs> there we go. Right, we're in neutral. See you in a bit. Okay, this is the part of the video where we talk about the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HTVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HTV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Right, we just come to the exit. Just want to see which way we can get out. All oh, right, yeah, we're gonna to have to go left. We can get out left to put our nose around there, turn around. We're not getting around the right, not with that car there. Not without getting on the curb, and we can't go on the curb because the bell's there. So, uh, yeah, don't get me wrong, I know why they're there, it's to stop you from going on the curb, but it also stops trucks from doing maneuvers. So, yeah, we're, go we're going back out left, it's no biggie, it's the way we come in anyway, so. I just don't know where we're going next, but we're forced to go left. Not a problem. Anyway, there we are. We're in here. Getting tipped, as you can see. Again, it's also tight getting out. That car's just decided to pop itself right on the end. Should be all right. I should be able to get out. Just swing it round past that cone, the trailer. Yeah, bring it round past that car. Stay to the right hand side, or tight as. Swing it around to the left. Get the nose in there between that gap. Swing it around and the trailer should, uh, trailer should literally just follow this line up and then just pass it just here, so. Yes. Like I said, still don't know where I'm going from here. Uh, I'll message the boss when we've got like three or four pallets left to go. And they'll be like, right, what's next? And then we can uh, go from there. Right, we are still being tipped. 
Uh, I think we've got like four pallets left to come off, maybe five. Messaged the boss saying I'd be leaving in less than ten minutes, but there's no reply back yet. So, uh, yeah, we're literally just... Uh, literally just waiting for uh, instructions on where to go next. But, but once they do tip me here... I'll, uh, I'll drive out and go up the road. We're going to go left, like I said, go up the road. And then uh, we'll put, just park up somewhere up there on the left until we get instructions. It's uh, not a massively busy road. It's not like a main A road or anything like that. Um, so we'll just pull over. There's cars parked there. I'll just pull over, put the hazards, the lights on, and then go from there. He has seen my message now. He has seen my message. We may be about to get instructions. The boss is typing. The boss is typing. Oh, mate. A mini has just plonked their car right in that gap where I said I needed to put my nose. Should still be able to get out, but it has made it harder. Okay, we're going to Tilbury Docks. And going to Chip and Camden, so it's Pavestone to Chip and Camden. I thought we would be going to Tilbury Docks from here. I did say that. I did say that. Oh, what are we on break wise? Uh, so we've got a 15, we need to have half an hour break. By the way, that's not a 15 here, that was a 15 earlier while we're waiting to be loaded. Uh, so we need a 30 minute break. We're on two. Oh, I'll be easy if I show you on my phone. Bow, chicken, wet, wow. Okay, so we've been sat stationary for 23 minutes. We've had a 15 minute break and we've done two hours 56, which means we've got an hour and a half left of driving. What, one, one hour 34 to be precise. I imagine Tilbury's about an hour away. Fifty minutes, yeah, almost an hour. So we can get to Tilbury Docks without having a break. We can get loaded and then we can have a break in Tilbury. Yes, that is what we will do. We will have a break in Tilbury. What time is it? Um, yeah, we won't be getting that off tonight. So that's also a night out tonight as well. Not a problem. So uh, because we now know that's a night out, I can message my wife. Let her know as well. Night out tonight. Because as soon as I know I'm on a night out, I will let her know. My boss hasn't told me I'm on a night out. He doesn't. He doesn't need to tell me. It's for me to work out. Um, by the time I'm loaded in Tilbury, it's going to be half past one, maybe quarter to two, by the time I get my break in. And then it's a good three hour drive there, at least. So we won't be getting there till like five o'clock. So On the plus side, we'll be parked up about four o'clock, half past four, maybe. Mm. So it'll be, be an early finish today. That's just because we can't get it tipped. So otherwise we would head straight there and get it tipped. Two more pallets left to go. That Mini is still parked there. Ah. I said to my boss I'll be leaving in 10 minutes. So I left that message at 11.36. It is now 11.43, so we've got three minutes <laughs> to go. Uh, but there's only one pallet left to come off, so that's pretty good timings, if I do say so myself. As long as they don't mess about now, putting this last pallet away, or second to last pallet. Last one coming off. Cheers, mate. Didn't get a reply. <laughs> Mid-lift axle. Put that up. Reset the suspension. I've got pedestrians walking right behind me. Forklift is behind me. Keep going. We're out of here.
I don't know, I don't know if he's telling me I'm forgetting or not. Yeah, thank you. Oh, someone moved the trolley just as I was getting close to something. Made me think I hit something. Ah, uh, this is... That mini B in there has made it stupid tight to get out now. It's doable. Whether I damage anything or not is a different question. Different matter, rather. Clear to the right. Clear to the left. It's just this blue car, the trailer coming in on the blue car that I'm worried about. Yeah, we got it. It's all clear. It's all clear. See battle properly. Lovely jubbly. Windows up. Cool. Right. <laughs> that was easy enough, actually. So we're heading to Tilbury Docks now. I will see you when we are there. See you in a bit. Bam! We're in Tilbury Docks. We just went to 46A. We got our paperwork. We've now just got to drive back down to 44. Why is your seatbelt not on? Can't be bothered. Be quiet. <laughs> is it private? It's technically a private road, isn't it? It's security gates. Well, I don't know. Whatever. I'm going to turn right. There we go. Into that. No trucks in there either, so we're going to be the only one in. Get loaded. Um... I just had a thought as well, actually, earlier. I might be able to go all the way to Chip and Camden and park up on site overnight. If, if they tip me, great. If not, I'm there ready for the morning. So I might do that. I don't know, actually. The internet access is rubbish. Think about it. Yeah, I might not do that. <laughs> I'll find out what time they, uh, what time they load to. Because if they load till five, we might be all right. I'll, uh, I'll find out once we put the destination in. We'll do that in a sec. I'll just park up. Twelve. Another twelve. Another six. So that's thirty. No. 39, 29, I don't know, whatever. Right, let's put the destination into the sat nav. Uh, right, destination, if we were to leave now, would be 10 to 4. So, we might be there before 5. Might get tipped. Might get tipped. We'll find out. Anyway, let's get loaded. Here we go, four load of pallets. Double stacked on the back as well. Right, let's make our way there. Right. We're in the truck. Hive is off. We're not going to be wearing that for the next three hours. I do need to stop and get a drink somewhere. But I've got one can on me, so I got I can have a drink now, but I will need to probably stop at Oxford Services to replenish my supply, especially if I'm on night out. What's this lorry driver doing? Come on. I can't actually go because he's blocking the way. Come on, mate, let's keep going. Place is the B, mate. Cheers, bud. Right, he's waving me through. Quick thank you all. 
I think he's waiting to be tipped, so obviously he's got to get tipped there. But it's a bit busy. So he's got to wait for everyone else to move. So he's just in the way. Been there many times. You feel useless because you're just like in the way. There's my can of Coke. Nice and cold. Fridge Shutterunio. Thank you all. Yeah, so it's touch and go whether I will make it or not. We have managed to get a break in so we can head there now in one go. Our ETA is like quarter to five. Just after. They may not tip us. They may tip us, they may not tip us. They close at five according to Google, but I'm pretty sure I asked for a colleague what time they close the gates and they said six. Which means I could park up there for the night. But, like I briefly mentioned earlier, internet is a bit rubbish there. It is in, it's in the middle of nowhere. So internet's a bit rubbish. So do I want to stop beforehand where there's decent internet and then leave a little bit earlier just to get there first? These are the questions I need to contemplate during the next two or so hours. <laughs> Need to make some phone calls, just double check those timings are what I think they are. Ask if he did stay there for the night and if the internet was good. I mean, it sounds bad, doesn't it? Oh, you're not a real trucker. Back in my day, you didn't have internet. Yeah, back in your day, there were slaves. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Times change, that's my point. What used to be seen as right is no longer right. Times change, people change, rules change, general public impression of you changes, everything changes, and you've got to keep with it or get left behind. Uh, Hi, mate. Uh, Thank you, mate. The other day when it was really, really hot, I very nearly gave him the security guy, not him, a different one very nearly give the security guy a can of coke because it was so hot out i was like yeah you deserve a can of coke but i didn't like the way he spoke to me so <laughs> he didn't get a can of coke i was actually tempted to give him one until he spoke <laughs> right we're uh we're gonna make our way towards chip and camden now it's a good three hour drive and uh like i said we're make a call a few, we make a call, a physical phone call, and make a call ourselves to determine what we're doing today. Because it's touch and go wherever I'll be tipped. Yes. Anyway, see you in a bit. Come on, go! Come on! <laughs> no trucks, please. We go slow up this hill. Don't come down, don't come down, don't come down, don't come down. Thank you. If they come down, it just makes things a lot worse for me. My truck is going, stop, stop. I don't think it likes the engine strain, thank you. We're going up the hill, currently doing 15 mile an hour. Come on, girl. Come on. You could do it. Hey. <laughs> We're nearly there. We're getting up the hill. We're getting up the hill. Anyway, we are around the corner from where we need to be. I say around the corner, we're still a good five miles away, but it will only take about seven minutes to get there or so. So we're not too far away. And um, yeah, we're going to be there for 10 to 5. So it could go either way. They may tip us today. Or they may say, ha, get out of here. And then I'll probably stay there and have a break um, have a rest a daily rest and then start again in the morning but I'm hoping they get me tipped to nine then I'll leave about half past five I would have thought back in the yard for about half past six not too shabby got some stuff to do in the yard fill it with some ad blue time I get home we'll be about seven-ish but that's if they tip me that's if they tip me 
we need to uh, we need to get get there first and find out. Don't put out. Okay, cool. Well, hey, open road. Okay, we're on the home straight. Home straight to where we're going anyway. Let that car go first because I'm going to be well up taking up the side of the road. We're not going to be able to cross before this car comes down. It's quite a quite a naughty right hand turn this. There we go. Has he let me through? He is. He bloody is. Don't say thank you by smacking his mirrors off, Luke. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right, down here we go. Be nice if they do take it. It is very much 50-50. I don't know which way they're going to go. They might say yeah, they might say no. End of, end of story. Trouble is, getting in and actually finding someone. They whiz around on their forklifts. Of course, if there's, if there's quite a few people waiting for tips, then uh, there's no chance they're going to tip me. It's rather, rather on the assumption that I'll be the only one there. We will see, we will see, we will see. Comes up all of a sudden. In we go, in we go, in we go. Right, no one's waiting, so that's good. <sighs> no one is waiting. No one is being tipped. But also, likewise, there's no forklifts. Right, we <laughs> I'm literally dumping the truck here. Normally you'd park up over there. Let's go sp speak to him, see if he will tip me. Fingers crossed. Let's see. Hello? Hello. What are the chances of being unloaded? None at all, no? I know it's late. Yeah. yeah. Get your straps off and we'll, as soon as we get here, we'll unload you in the morning. In the morning. And then no one can get in the space. That's it, yeah. <laughs> All right, mate. There'll be, there'll be a load of lorries and someone will pinch that Pinch the space, yeah. So I'll get in there. Back in there and get your straps off and seven o'clock, we'll have you unloaded. In the morning. Okay. No problem, mate. Is that gate locked at night, is it? Um, we don't lock it, but whether they lock it, I don't know. Ah, right, okay. Might go for a walk or so. Yeah. But. That's it, yeah. That's it. All right, mate, no worries. Oh, it's worth a go, isn't it? <laughs> it's worth a go. Anyway, we're going to park up over here. They, you never know. I might start undoing the straps. They might They might decide. Do you know what? Do you know what? Stop it. Let's unload it. You never know. So we're going to get in quickly. We're going to undo the straps. And then, like he said... Worst case scenario will be tomorrow morning, seven o'clock. It was worth a go though. It was worth a go. Right, let's get this in. I think they're putting their forklifts away in it as well. Just to, to make a point, maybe. Then they're not tipping me today. But that's fine, no worries. Parked up early though tonight, so finish at five and we won't be starting again until seven, so. So nice. What's that, 14 hour shot, something like that? Anyway, I'm just gonna get these straps off quickly just in case they do tip me, because you never know. See you in a bit. Okay, so we're here, we reverse back. It is 20 past five. Did they tip me? I hear you ask. No, they did not. No. So we are here for the night. 
actually, it's actually quite unusual to be just left on the site, to be honest with you. But oh, they trust me, so let's not uh, ruin that trust by doing anything untoward, like, I don't know, shitting in a bush. <laughs> <laughs> I would do that. It's a question I get asked a lot, actually. What What do you do with regards to like toilets and stuff? Quite, the answer is you go before. You go before. I had to stop on the way here um, to get some drink and also use the facilities. And that's what you do. You pop in, spend five minutes doing your business, and uh, then you go to your destination. Just uh, notice we've got a swing truck over there. We've got another truck that's pulled in, staying here for the night. That would be me if I turned up about 15 minutes later. Anyway, we are going to be tipped first thing in the morning. Seven o'clock they start, so I'll be up for about half past six. Wake up and go from there. <laughs> anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. If you're lucky, I'll uh, do a little bit on my phone tomorrow while they tip me. Otherwise, that's going to be it for the video. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.